recently had jury duty. Yeah, I got the letter in the mail saying that I had jury duty and I had this huge weight on my shoulders because I had no idea what to expect. Moving forward into my story about this, I actually ended up getting picked to be a juror and be on the juror panel or whatever it's called, which is insane. Out of so many people, only six people got chosen and I was one of those six people that got chosen. Anyways, I wanted to make this video for anybody out there who is just as confused and clueless as I was about jury duty. I have some footage that I vlogged, so I'll be taking you through my whole day and just share my personal experience with you guys. My hope is that this will help someone out there. And if you're really nervous about jury duty, there's really nothing to be nervous about. Does it suck? Honestly, it's not as bad as people make it out to be, in my opinion. I'll start with that. Do we have better things to be doing? Probably so, but at the same time, it's really not that bad. Before we get into the video, I do want to make a disclaimer. I have huge bags under my eyes right now, and I'm also on my second cup of coffee right now because I pulled an all-nighter last night, did not sleep at all. Not on purpose, I just could not fall asleep. I had a really bad headache last night, so I took an Excedrin kind of late, and I think that's what kept me up all night. So, yeah, I just didn't get any sleep, so don't mind the bags under my eyes and me sipping on my coffee throughout this video. Okay, let's get into the story time and what to expect if you get summoned for jury duty. I'm the type of person where I like to have everything planned out. Um, for example, like I wanted to make sure I knew exactly where to park and exactly where I was gonna have to like walk to from the parking lot because where I live, at least, I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but where I live, there's a juror lot where you park and it was free, we didn't have to pay for parking. And then you have to walk like a block or two or something like that to get to the actual building where you go in for jury duty. So I wanted to make sure I knew exactly where to go because I didn't want to get lost or anything like that. I also wanted to prepare myself to see like what I should wear and what I should bring and what I was allowed to bring. I was really uncertain if they would like let me bring my laptop and all of that stuff because some websites say that you are allowed to bring electronics and others say that you're not allowed to bring electronics. I did know that you could be there anywhere from one to two hours to the entire day and I did see a lot of people online say to make sure that you bring lunch and also just to bring some form of entertainment like a coloring book, an iPad, definitely have headphones, that is like my biggest essential. I guess I'll start with just telling you my little list of essentials of what you should bring to jury duty. I prepared all of this stuff the night before because I had to be there bright and early at 8 a.m. As far as my outfit, I wanted to wear something comfortable. My brother had had jury duty like a few weeks prior and he told me that it was pretty cold in there. I also saw a lot of people online say that it's pretty cold in there so I knew that I wanted to dress somewhat warm but dress to where if I got too hot I could like take my jacket off. So I will try to insert a photo of what I wore. As I mentioned, you could be there anywhere from one to two hours to all day, so I do think it's definitely important to plan your outfit accordingly and dress comfortably, especially because, let me tell you, it is just a lot of waiting around. Like, a lot of the day is just sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting. So, I would definitely say to dress comfortably, but also make sure you dress warm enough because it's freezing in the courtroom. Okay, as far as food, I was not sure if the place I was going was gonna have a microwave or a refrigerator or anything like that. I assumed they wouldn't. So I decided to pack like stuff that could kind of last a bit without being refrigerated. So I packed myself a PB&J. I made sure to eat breakfast before I left my house that morning so that I was like full. I brought like some veggie straws, I brought some chocolate covered almonds, just a few little snacks like that. They don't let you bring any water into the building, but they do have complimentary water, at least at the one where I went. Definitely make sure you bring a lunch. I've heard that some places provide lunch for you if you get picked to be a juror, but then I've heard that some don't and mine didn't provide lunch. We had to like go get lunch on our own. They did give us about an hour lunch break, 
um, to go walk to like a restaurant or something, but I had packed my lunch. Okay, moving on to what you should bring for entertainment. My number one thing on this list would be obviously your phone and headphones. Once again, you really don't know how long you're gonna be there. I can't stress this enough because I thought I'd be there maybe four to five hours and I ended up being there the entire day. Make sure you bring entertainment for yourself. I'll get into how the whole day goes like step by step here in a minute. I just wanted to start with kind of what you should wear and bring and things like that because those are things you could prepare before the day actually comes. A couple things that I brought were my phone, headphones, my iPad. In case my phone died, I did not want to be bored, so I brought my iPad. If you don't have an iPad or like an extra electronic besides your phone, I would recommend bringing a portable charger because you're probably gonna be on your phone a lot, just bored like watching YouTube videos or on social media or working or whatever. So just in case your phone did die, I would recommend bringing a portable charger. I also brought some things that I could work on. I brought my planner and some like pens and stuff. I also downloaded a movie on Netflix the previous night because I wasn't sure how good the Wi-Fi there was gonna be and stuff. And I figured if I was really there for a super long time, I could pass the time by watching a movie on Netflix. But yeah, that's pretty much it for what I brought with me to jury duty and some ideas of what you can bring. Now we'll get into what you guys probably are actually waiting for, which is the story time and how the whole day goes and what to expect. Starting from the moment that you get that little letter in the mail that says, you've been summoned for jury duty, there should be like your name, your address, and a number on that little piece of mail. That's the number they're gonna call you by, so make sure you keep that um, little piece of mail or whatever because they do ask you to bring it in and that's a number that they're gonna call you by. They don't call you by your name um, when you're in the big assembly room. The morning of jury duty, I drove there obviously and parked in the juror lot. It was free, I didn't have to pay anything and then I think I had to walk like a block or so to get to the actual building where you go for jury duty. When you enter the building, they have a security check. You have to take off your jacket, you have to put your bag and all your electronics in the little thing just like you do at the airport. Once you go through the security, you'll see like the signs of where to go for jury duty. When I got there, surprisingly, the lady was very nice. She was super welcome welcoming and friendly. I thought like the workers would just be very like meh and kind of just quiet and you know not very nice. I don't know why I thought that. I just did. But surprisingly she was super nice and friendly. She told me to go up to this little like computer scanner and scan the little barcode that was on my jury summons and that's basically how we checked in. So I did that and then you're pretty much in this really big room with so 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 many chairs and there's tvs in there um they were playing hd tv there was more than enough space it wasn't like everybody was on top of each other we pretty much got to be like really spaced out and have like personal space i was kind of like wondering at first if it was going to be like everybody sits directly right next to each other which it isn't that big of a deal, but it's kind of like, it makes it more uncomfortable because you're trying to just like chill, watch some videos or watch a movie on your iPad or something. And if there's just people on the sides of you, it's just a little less, I don't know. Does that make sense or am I just crazy? Anyway, I got a spot in the very back corner. There was like one other person all the way at the end of the row. And then just people scattered all throughout the room. The assembly room that I was in had coffee in the back, they had complimentary water, bathrooms of course, and they even had like vending machines. I got there at 8 a.m. Nothing was happening at first, so I just pulled out my iPad and started watching some YouTube videos. Shortly after 8 a.m., the woman at the front came on like a microphone she basically introduced herself and she played a video talking about what jury duty is and kind of like they do show you what to expect in jury duty. Once the video was over, the lady came back on the microphone and pretty much said that the judge was still trying to figure out if he was gonna have any cases that day. She said that we would know by about 12, like noon-ish. 
whether or not there was going to be any cases that day. Keep in mind, it was only like 8.30ish at this point, maybe 9 o'clock-ish. So that right there is about three hours that I was just expecting to sit in the assembly room waiting to see if there was going to even be any cases because there is a chance that there would be no cases and then everybody just gets to go home. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the case on this particular day, but thankfully she ended up talking to the judge or something like that sooner than noon. So I think we probably found out around 10.30ish that there was gonna be a case. Once she made the announcement that there was gonna be a case, they started calling people by their number on that form. That's why I said it's important to keep that form and also know your number because one, you have to use it to check in and two, you need to know your number because like I said, that's what they call you by. I was one of the first numbers to get called, so I went up pretty early and I was kind of at like the front of the line. They have you line in exact order and they make it very clear that you need to stay in this exact order. So basically everybody in the whole assembly, assembly room gets in this long line, you go, and walk to the courtroom. There's somebody who like leads you there and makes sure, makes sure that you stay in that line and in that order. Eventually, we entered the courtroom and I had never ever been in a courtroom in my life, so I thought that was kind of interesting just to see how it all looked. Since I was at the front of the line, I also was at the front of the courtroom, so I was in one of the, actually I was in the very first front row set of benches then the judge and I hope I don't completely fail at saying this because I really don't even know what they're called I think I have I think I know what it's called I want to say it's called a state attorney introduced herself I don't know if that's what it's called but I think that's what it's called she's the one who like is representing the state I believe I don't know I'm not good at all at stuff and then the defendant is there, I think that's what that's called, I don't know. It's the person who is like involved in the crime or whatever. And then so there's him, and then there's his lawyer who is pretty much fighting for his case. Hopefully that makes sense. So they all introduce themselves. Then they ask you this long list of questions. Each person has like a paper on their seat and you basically just go through the list and answer all the questions to the judge. So like say number one said, what's your name? You'd say, my name is blah, blah, blah. And then you move on to the next question and go all the way through the list. Not gonna lie, there were some like kind of personal questions on there. They ask like if you know anybody who's been arrested, if anyone in your family's been arrested, if you've been arrested, what you do for a living, what your spouse does for a living, do you have kids? They ask where, where you live, like what area you live in. And it is kind of a lot of questions. That part was interesting because a lot of people kind of had to share their personal life. Um, some people even said like, I don't have to share my personal information with you and things like that. And some people got kind of defensive. I feel like I'm really dragging this out. So sorry about that. I'll try to hurry it up, but I just want to make sure I don't like leave out any details. So after you answer all the questions, they send you out of the courtroom. So you're literally sitting there just waiting again for a long time. Also, I forgot to mention, you can't have any electronics on in the courtroom. They make you turn off your phone and your iPads and all that stuff. So I was a little nervous at first because I wasn't sure if they like take your bags and like you have to put them in like a storage room or something. And I was kind of like, mm, like I don't really want them taking my stuff. But they didn't do that, thankfully. I got to like keep it down by my feet. So, okay, I'm so sorry this is taking so long. Then you go out, you wait, then they call you back in the courtroom and they pretty much announce who the jurors are gonna be. Lucky me, my name got called first. Yeah, so I knew I was gonna be there a while. In that moment though, I was actually like, kind of excited. I don't know why, but when they were doing all the questions and stuff, I kind of thought they were gonna pick me to be a juror. I don't know why, I just had a feeling. In that moment though, I was kind of excited that they did call me because for one, it's just a new experience, and for two, I'm just nosy and kind of wanted to know like what the case was about and what was gonna happen. And I've watched like How to Get Away with Murder and stuff, and I've just like been interested in that kind of stuff, even though I totally do not understand it at all. Like at first, the judge was using these terms that I just did not understand. I was like, I don't know if I could do this because I don't even know what he says. Like, 
what he's saying so he said like something about the charges and I did not understand what the charges even really were anyway I had to go up and sit in the jury panel so they called six of us we all went and sat in the jury panel and they told everyone else that they could be dismissed then they started getting into the details about the case so they told us more specifically like what the defendant i hope i'm saying that right i don't know if it's called a defendant but i'm pretty sure that's what it's called um they pretty much were telling us like all about how they're going to show us the evidence and what evidence is and what like the facts are it's kind of a lot honestly but it's it's also really interesting i don't know anything about being a lawyer or a judge or anything like that my camera keeps overheating and i keep having to restart so that's why i'm kind of like losing track of where i'm at because my camera overheats so freaking fast anyway okay so um Moving forward, after they told us like about the case and what it was gonna be about, they dismissed us for an hour lunch break, so we got to leave. I walked back to my car, I ate my lunch, and went back to the building kind of early, and I was just like waiting outside of the courtroom. Slowly but surely, all the other six jurors started coming back as well, and so we all just kind of like talked about what we had for lunch, just kind of small talk. They're very, very, very clear that you cannot talk about the case at all when you're not in the courtroom um, amongst each other, so, or amongst anyone. You can't say anything online, you can't say anything to the other jurors, you can't say anything to like the sheriffs, family members, nothing. Like they're super clear about that. And every time that you re-enter the courtroom, they like, the judge will say, did you say anything or whatever? And you all just have to say no. After lunch, we went back into the courtroom and this is what really took like the longest time. It does take a long time, like so many hours we were in there. It's a lot of sitting there listening to everyone that goes on the witness stand. It's a lot of like evidence so they show like photographs they show body cam footage i don't know how much i could say about the case the judge at the end did say we can go and talk about the case we're free to talk about it because i think the case was closed or the trial was over or whatever so basically this case was about a man who was getting pulled over and instead of like pulling over he pretty much just parked the car and ran from the cops there was a lot more details into it i just don't really know exactly what i could say and not say so i'm not gonna like give all the details of the story plus that would just take forever there's a lot of sitting at the jury panel and then the judge will say like they need to call a break where I think they need to like talk in private or something. So all the jurors leave the room, come back into the room. And it's a lot of that, like leaving and coming back. So yeah, that was pretty much the whole day just listening to the case. You kind of feel bad for the person who could be going to jail or getting in trouble. I think all of us jurors did kind of feel the same way. We, we all kind of felt bad and like, just like, it's not our place to make that decision for someone. But as the trial went on and he went to go like speak, you can just tell like, you can just tell like his story, in my opinion, wasn't really adding up. It wasn't really making sense. And there was clear evidence that proved, proved the case versus what he was saying. Like it's literally on video, so it's like, how could you even say that when it's right here on video? I know you probably don't even get what I'm saying because I'm not really telling the whole story because I don't want to get in trouble because I don't know what I could really say and not say. Then at the very end, all the jurors go into this room and we then get to finally talk about the case and talk about how we feel about it and everything. Um, you pick like a, a lead person that does the paperwork and reads over everything. Thankfully, we had a really good guy like who was smart and he was really good at like leading all of us and stuff. So he did all of that. So yeah, we pretty much thankfully all agreed on the outcome. They pretty much then say if the jury pleaded him as guilty or not. And from there, I don't really know what happened. The judge pretty much just dismissed us and we got to go home. It was a super long day. I think I was there from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., maybe even 7.30 p.m. That's pretty much my jury duty experience in story time and maybe what you can expect if you get picked to be a juror. I hope that some of you found this helpful. I'm sorry if it was 
super all over the place. I really should have taken notes beforehand and had it more planned out. But I kind of just wanted it to be a chill little story time video. If any of you have ever had jury duty, let me know your experience in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Overall, I really didn't mind it. I thought it was really interesting. Um, although it did take my whole entire day, sometimes it could even take multiple days, which that would really not be fun. But um, overall, it's really not as bad as people put it out there to be. So that was my experience. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!